Hey everyone, today I'm sharing a process video for this fun summary layout that I created using the Colorcast Designs um, acrylic pieces from their most recent release, as well as one of the wood veneer pieces. And this is a layout in my Life Crafted album um, documenting my current leads for the month of July. And as a free bonus, I'm also going to be sharing the PDF template um, as well as the Canva version of this template that I created for this layout. So this grid layout template was totally inspired by that spiral bound notebook from Mochi Things. Um, it's called the Simple Scrap Notebook that Hubba also buy from My Little Journal and Crystal Idignate have been using, as well as the Scrap It notebook that Kelly Winnell at The Creative Ginger has created. And I've had serious envy over these notebooks and I strongly debated getting one of those for myself, um, but I just felt like I really don't need another um, album or another project to start um, because I do have enough documenting going on between my Life Crafted albums and my Me, Myself and I album. Um, so I just decided instead of going out and buying another notebook that I probably won't be able to complete, it would be fun to try to convert those grid styled um, layouts into a Life Crafted album spread. And that way I can put it with all of my other documenting projects and I don't have to start over a whole new other project from scratch. So here's a look at that template that I have printed out. Um, this one is the PDF version and I did create this to the size of um, a life crafted album outside the page protector. Um, so that's 10 inches wide in total because each page is five inches wide by eight and three eighth inches tall. Um, if you want your page to be eight and a quarter inches tall instead, um, I do have enough room on the bottom and the top to trim off a bit without losing any of the design. So the way that you can use this um, template without using, um, you know, a fancy photo editing software like Photoshop, for example, is I just printed off the template um, and that allows me to see what the measurements are for all of my pieces. And I can also position my acrylic pieces um, and other elements that I'm going to be using um, on top of the boxes on the template just to make sure that they fit inside those boxes before I commit to using anything on this layer. Out. When I created this template, I purposely made all of those boxes two inches, either two inches wide or two inches tall, so that all you have to do is cut up a bunch of scrap weight cardstock um, to two inches wide, and then just trim them down to the exact same lengths that you need them as directed by the grid layout template. So on this template, I have three spots that are five and a half inches tall. Um, I have one that is five and a quarter inches long, one that is four and a qu quarter inches long, one that is three and a quarter inches tall, and then one that is just two inches tall by two inches wide. So here you'll see that I'm just cutting out all of my white cardstock pieces to go on this um, background that I have. Um, this is some pattern paper from Citrus Swiss Kits. This was part of their digital TN basics and patterns um, pattern papers that were released in July 2022 to complement their um, flea market findings collection. You'll see later on in this video as I'm pulling out those acrylic pieces from Colorcast Designs that this pattern paper is just perfect um, to go with the colors of this month's Colorcast Designs kit. And as usual for my currently pages each month, I've also printed out a selfie. Um, this one is um, printed at two inches wide by three and a quarter inches tall to fit on that left side of my Life Crafted album template. So once I have all of my white cardstock pieces cut out, um, I'm just placing them in the same positions as indicated on the template. And then I'm pulling out those acrylic pieces. I have the blue one that says summer playlist, um, a pink one that says relaxing and an orange one that says lounging. And as you can see, these colors coordinate perfectly with the citrus twist pattern paper. So my thought for this layout was to use the prompt summer playlist as a kind of a lens um, for documenting my um, currently page this month. So I have three categories of things that I was playing for this month. So I have um, things that I was listening to. So like um, songs and soundtracks that were on my playlist, as well as podcasts that were on my playlist. Um, and then the second category is games that I was playing. So um, board games and um, 
games on my phone and on my laptop. And also um, the last category is shows that I'm playing. So um, on my Netflix playlist, basically um, TV shows as well as some movies. And to fit all of this into this one layout, I've decided that the summer playlist acrylic is going to go into um, the spot that is four and a quarter inches wide by two inches tall. And then my three playing um, lists are going to go in the spots that are five and a half inches tall by two inches wide. Um, and then the photo, of course, is going to go into the three and a quarter inch spot. And then the bottom most five and a quarter inch spot that spreads across the two pages is just going to be kind of like a filler piece that I'll have um, maybe some embellishments as well as that lounging acrylic piece as well. I've picked out some of my Altenew mini dye ink pads to go along with the colors of the spread. Um, so I've picked out the color rouge for the um, pinky color, chamomile for the orange color, and iceberg for the blue color. And I've also picked out a light pink as well that I'm going to be using later on and that color is blush and I'm using this stamp set from paper person that was just released last month um, this is called game night and I stamped the word play um, in each of those darker colors on the top of that five and a half inch piece of white cardstock and there's a little cutout section um, in the letters P and L of the word play that I'm going to be filling out with a different word from a different stamp set. And um, these are all from <laughs> different companies that I've pulled together to create this one spread. Um, so I have the word game from that same game night stamp set from Paper Person. I have the words um, show times from an Ali Edwards and Laura Wanzik stamp set that is called cinema and ticket and I have the word listening that I'm going to be stamping um, using this stamp that says listening to from the Studio Calico and Paisley Press stamp set called volume up. Now the fun thing about having these grid pieces on this template as pieces of white cardstock as opposed to pre-built in boxes um, on a notebook page is that number one you could change the background to whatever you want instead of um, just sticking with the background that the notebook already has printed into the papers. Um, so here obviously I chose some patterned paper for my background um, but also it's really easy to stamp your images so that they stay inside the grid boxes. So here I'm just stamping off the piece of white cardstock and it's really easy. I don't have to mask off the lines um, in a notebook page and I also don't have to worry about bleed through which I'm not really sure because I don't have one of these notebooks um, what the paper is like but here I'm just using white cardstock and I'm sticking it onto some patterned paper so I'm not worrying about some bleed through at all. For each of these three boxes that I've stamped the word play on top of, I'm going to create a cluster of stamping to fill out the bottom part of that card um, using kind of the same stamps as I used for um, the filling in of the word play. Um, so for example, for the Showtime one, I'm using the film strip from the same Ali Edwards and Laura Wanzik stamp set um, and using the same blue color as well. For the listening one, I'm using some of those stamps from that same volume up stamp set. So a stamp of, um, I think this is like a vinyl record, as well as some headphones. And for the gaming one, I'm going to be using a game piece stamp from the Let's Play stamp set from Paper Person, as well as a po Power Up Mushroom. Um, I think that's from Mario from the Level Up stamp set from Paper Person. And after I finish all of my stamping, I do have some clear sticker paper that I've um, printed out my journaling of the playlists for each of those categories um, that I've just cut down um, into a two inch wide strip. And I'll just adhere those um, down onto my stamped um, panel as well. For that bottom middle piece that is five and a quarter inches wide, I'm going to treat this as kind of like a filler card and do some repeat stamping. So here's where I pulled out that lighter pink color um, in the color blush from Altenew. And I'm using the stamp that says playlist from the volume up stamp set to repeatedly stamp in a diagonal pattern um, all the way across this um, little grid space. 
just to provide a bit more color to that bottom portion of my layout. And I'm going to pull out all of the ephemera pieces that came in the paper person um, gaming kit that just came out last month, as well as the July wood veneer piece from Colorcast Designs. Um, and I'm going to pick out um, a couple of embellishments that I think will go nicely in this space. I ended up going with the gold foil chess pieces, as well as the um, word strip that says it's all fun and games. Um, and I like that the pink in that it's all fun and games piece matches the pink in my relaxing acrylic piece. Now that I have all of the elements needed for my layout, I'm going to start adhering everything into place. Um, and you'll notice that I did punch the holes in my Life Crafted album pages um, in the background papers just before I started adhering everything together um, because I do want to make sure that I leave enough room for those um, hole punches to go into my album. While I was digging through that ephemera pack from Paper Person, um, I also picked out some ephemera pieces to fill up that top 2x2 two two grid um, on the top right corner. And I ended up picking out two puzzle pieces from that kit, as well as some gold foil scrabble tiles that spell the word yes. And I'm just adhering all of my embellishments down now um, using the Gina K Connect glue to adhere down my acrylic pieces. Um, you'll also notice that the word relaxing, um, I had been a bit too forceful in trying to take this out of the plastic bag that it came in um, and it kind of snapped when I was taking it out. But no worries, um, if you glue it down so that the pieces are touching each other on the page, um, it matches up perfectly and you can't even see that it's broken on my layout. The rest of the embellishments are light enough that I can use my Tombow Mono permanent adhesive tape runner to adhere them into place. And once all of my embellishments are um, attached onto my page, I'm also pulling out some um, puffy heart stickers from Citrus Twist Kits um, in the coordinating colors. So I have a pink one, a orange one, and um, a blue one, just to kind of provide some more accents onto the top part of my layout. And here's a quick look at how the layout compares to the original template that I started out with. Um, and of course you can turn the template upside down to provide a different look as well. I did create this as a template on Canva as well, where you can just click in some photos. Here I have some random ones from a previous spread that I did, um, and you can drag them onto the grid template and replace them with photos, um, or you can replace those with text boxes if you want to add journaling, um, or you can put pattern papers in them as well. And you can find the links to both the PDF form of this template, as well as the Canva version of this template in the description box below. I hope this inspires you to try out a grid layout in your Life Crafted album pages. And if you do end up using these templates, make sure to share your projects on Instagram and tag me so that I can see what you've been making. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you liked this video, then make sure to give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more process videos. Thanks so much for watching.